What the hell? I never promised you at any point that I would be a professional about anything. So just fingers crossed that this is working. I'm actually going to have to go and check on YouTube myself. I never announced this. I never, I never did anything. Um, no, I'm not even subscribed to myself. I am. Oh, look. It's working. Oh, bro. Bro. Super. Um, is it public, though? I bet you I set it up so that it's private and nobody can see it. Because <laughs> I've no... <laughs> mean technology just should not exist together. It must be. There's people there. Yes! Hello. Right, we'll make this, um, uh, we're going to do this one kind of, not short and sweet, but uh, I'm just going to jump straight into this. Um, I've not done one of these live, live YouTube thingy-mabobbers in a very long time because, well, because I suck at it. That's a short and sweet version. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to look at chat yet because I'll just get distracted. Um, it is ten past f two. Uh, I've just finished watching the season finale of Snowpiercer. I did mean to do this video early, but um, it was really, really good. Double episode. It's brilliant. Um, so, um, basically what happened is I ordered um, one of these. I ordered one of these. Uh, and that looks black on there. I'm sure I ordered the silver one. Oh, it is silver. It says so there. Um, so I, I ordered one. I've not opened it. It just arrived. Um, this was, I bought this from young Alex. Well, he's not young. He's, he's probably younger than me. But um, yeah. Cheeky bit. And this cost me, uh, which I was quite surprised at the price Alex was doing them for. Uh, how much was that? There's no price in it. Forty-five pounds. I'm sure it was forty-five pounds from Cheeky Vape. Uh, that, that's not seen it cheaper than that anywhere else. So um, yes, there we go. Now I'm sure there's reviews and, and everything out there. <laughs> Hello, doggy. No, not just now. Uh, I'm sure there's reviews and videos and whatnot. I don't know how long this has been out for. Uh, this is not a review. I can't stress this enough. This is not a review. Not really. This is definitely not a review. Uh, if you want a review, go and watch a video where somebody's had it for an extended period of time. This is an unboxing, just to make that clear. There's a big difference between an unboxing and a review. There we go. Uh, right. <laughs> shall, we, shall we just keep going? Right. Uh, do you want to see... Do you want, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. What I'll do is to save you from pain and misery. Um, I will... Um, I'll just go straight into the unboxing. And then what I'll do is after the unboxing, then I'll just do my usual boring... This is what I've been up to. This is what I've got in for review. So if you're just here to see the the mix up close, then it saves you hanging about and putting up with my waffle. Um, I need a knife. I need a knife. Um, here we go. And hello to everybody that's in chat. Uh, yes, I am well aware of the fact that this is not on my Facebook group. You know that it's not in my Facebook group because I've not I've not sworn and I've not called anybody a ball bag yet. That's what normally happens in my Facebook group. So I'll be very polite. I'll be very polite uh, because I'm I'm doing this in grown up land. This is um, right box. That's all you need to know. Box. What the hell does that mean? Prestige. Oh well, that's very posh. Uh, right. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, 
This is a collaboration between Aspire, Sunbox, um, that's it. It's, it's what a lot of them are doing now. Um, no, don't, no, don't, don't, don't give me money. Please don't give me money. Um, thank you, but please don't give me money. Thank you anyway. Uh, Charles, you're starting to blether. It's going to happen. Can't be helped. As long as I'm not staring out the window for long periods of time and not saying much, you'll be fine. Anyway, uh, right, so it's done a collaboration between Aspire and Sunbox. Um, do we have any technical specs? I should have done this before uh, we got going here. Um, but uh, I, I, as usual, um, yeah, I, I couldn't be bothered. Uh, so here you go, there's, there's uh, let's have a little bit of spec size, uh, single 18650 or 18350 battery, uh, output wattage 1 to 60 watts, we've got an OLED screen, uh, we've got, oh, see this I didn't know, this I didn't know, it uh, doesn't look like there's any temp control, I didn't actually know that, and there's no USB port either, there's things I didn't know. Uh, what else have we got? Did they say it's pure in form and high grade in material structure? Uh, okay. Um, we've got sandblasted and anodized aluminium and surgical grade stainless steel. Okay. Now I was expecting it to be zinc alloy. I was expecting it to be zinc alloy, so I'm quite surprised by that. Um, but that's that's all the information we need from there. Um, <sighs> Todd's late and I get to sit in looking forward to receiving my mix that's not so funny I have no mentioning about weight yes no mentioning about weight what I will do ever we have scales we shall wait oh yes we shall uh, right here we go uh, I better get my glasses on um Okay. Uh, listen, I've got. To, I've got to say, this does actually feel quite um, posh. Ooh. Okay. Prestige. Aspire. Engineering. Uh, manual. Where we are going, we don't need manuals. A uh, little bit of card. Don't need that. Um, this, I would imagine. There is a lot of guessing going on here because obviously I, I've not actually used this. Uh, so here we have a stainless steel tube and I would imagine this is the 18350 tube. Put that to one side. Uh, what's this in here? Um, okay. A couple of screws. Um, and, and one mod. Nothing else in there. Right. Before I do anything else, uh, you might not see this, or you will see this, sorry. Uh, it's on, there we go. 142 grams, uh, 142 grams. Do you know, it's not, um, that doesn't feel excessive, the weight on this thing. Uh, I'm quite surprised by that, actually. I thought it was going... They're saying it's stainless steel and anodized aluminium. I actually thought this was just going to be a big lump of zinc um, and, and that was going to be it. Uh, but uh, it, certainly, it feels a lot lighter than I was expecting. Um, right, other things that are important to me. Uh, maybe not so important to you, but maybe they're important to me. Uh, right, this is the big thing. Okay, not sure if you can see that there, but we've got 30 millimeters. So from the 510 to here, 30 millimeters. Uh, height of the mod is about 80 odd. It's not excessive. Uh, it's not bad at all. So, uh, right. I'm just diving into things that interest me here. I'm being rather selfish. You'll have to excuse me. Uh, but I want to see what, what it looks like with tanks. Now I'm assuming this is a spring loaded 510 in here. Uh, so this is the right. 
See, I like to see what kind of size attack. I mean, that's four milliduce in there. That's the VWM Imperia. Um, I know a lot of people. Uh, how can I put this? For me, I like my side by side mods so that the the tank is sitting level with there. You know, that's just kind of what I like. Um, so I was just curious if I had any mod uh, tanks that were going to fit. So there you go. The avatar is going to look kind of. So there you go. That gives you night. If you've got an avatar, you'd be very happy with this. Um, what's rattling? It's the battery cap. My apologies. Uh, I'll take that off just now. I'm pretty sure... Uh, the, the black ones, is it the black one comes with a gold cap? Um, but this one, oh, they've actually put a negative symbol in this. Aha, uh -huh, nice one. Uh, and we have a positive indicator down the bottom as well. Um, I should, <laughs> I should really um, possibly, uh, hang on, I'm just finding another RTA here. These are all 22 mil RTAs that I'm trying on here just now. So there's some random RTA that I happen to find lying about. I do believe it's called the Har. Um, and so, yeah, there we go. So that looks on there. Uh, anybody know in chat the size of RTA you can get on this? Is it going to be a 24 or a 25? Um, where are we? <laughs> okay, good news. It's taking the dwarf. So the dwarf is going on as well. And and uh, excuse me, but I've just completely forgotten which size the dwarf is. Was it 24 or 25? So we're going to get a 24. I do not think... <gasps> nah, I, I, I do not think a 25 is going to go on here. Um... Oh, 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 skin of its teeth, skin of its teeth. So there you go, there's a 25 mil tank on there. Uh, but if you've got a 25 mil tank with any knurling or anything going up there, then it will not go. This just went on there and no more. Uh, right. Um, what are we needing now? More stuff. Right. Uh, according to Intaste, it's 24 millimetres. Well, that might be the case. However, twenty four point seven six, twenty four point nine two. 24.92. So, you... Uh, I think you will. If you're lucky, you might get a 25 on there. Certainly took the uh, 25 mil scrape. So, right. Uh, what else do we need to do to break this? Um, do you do you want to see me put the 18350 tube on it just now? Is it, are you bothered by that? Um, I've just noticed that they do not supply a tool to actually do that. Uh, so I'm going to have to find a tool that will do that. Quite surprised by that. I thought they would have supplied a tool, but um, uh, do you know I've I've absolutely no idea if this is what you do, uh, but I'm um, I'm just going to go for it because <laughs> this this is how we roll. We just like breaking things. Put that to one side. Right. Um, I'm assuming this unscrews. Yes, it does. There we go. Put that to another side. Well, it looks the same on both sides. That'd be cool if it is. And oh, look at that. So obviously, I can pop in the two wee screws there and whatnot. Um, what I am curious about is 
No, do you think, I, I was going to say, I was curious if, um, you know, obviously this is, what is it, a 60 watt? If once you pop the 18350 battery on, does it re automatically recognise that and reduce, you know, the output? Probably not. Um, but that's actually quite dinky. Kind of like that. Not that I use 18350 batteries much anymore. Uh, but we'll just... We're going to go back to using this. Listen, this is... Um... It I mean, it's definitely... I mean, you can see there it says Sunbox. It definitely, you know, Sunbox inspired or the design and all the rest of it this isn't i'm not i'm not overly offended by this and i've not managed to break it yet and that's without reading a manual my dad would be so impressed not that he's ever read a manual in his life um Right, let's get a battery in this. Um, I need a battery. We'll take a battery. Uh, I've got one 18650 here. Positive down. The very, I mean, I do like the threading on this, the fact that it's big, beefy threads. And this is really easy to get a hold of, this thing. Uh, my concern is that it's not going to sit flush. It's not. It's going to stick up. I don't like that. No, no. Need to sand this off. I want. I don't want to see this bit. I don't want to see this bit. But anyway, uh, right. What have we got? Oh, oh, look at that. That's very um, DNA, isn't it? No, that just says check atomizer mark. Uh, hang on. Let's just. Well, I'm just going to push buttons here. Let's just push lots of buttons. So what have we got? It's very DNA. DNA? -E? Uh, round robin, all the rest of it. And what is it? There's a, a bypass mode and there's a voltage mode. Um, I'm, f I'm just pushing this button here and the firing button at the same time. Uh, I'm guessing. I'm just pushing all the buttons to see what happens. What happens when I push this button? Okay, so that button and that locks it. And unlocked. Right, we've pushed all the buttons. Let's get an Atty on here. Is it actually a DNA 60? I, I honestly don't know. Um, it, it should... Hang on, let's um, let's go back here. Uh, can order screen share. It doesn't say anything there about a DNA sixty board. If it was evolve, it, it would state that it's an evolve board. Uh, if anybody knows for a fact, if I, no, it's not a DNA sixty, right? Fine. Um, okay, okay. Uh, let's. I can't see a thing. I'm blind. I'm so blind. Uh, let's adjust the airflow. Where's my airflow holes? Does anybody know how to adjust the airflow holes on the Har RTA? <laughs> It's the same chip used in the Easy Mod. Um, yeah, I, I don't have anything to do with the Easy Mod, I'm afraid. Uh, sorry, I'm just there. Uh, realised that I'd shut off my juice flow control and everything on my Atty. Uh, if it was DNA, it would have cost a hundred. You never know. You should always check these things. Never assume. Um, right. What's oh, it? Seven watts. That's why it's not doing anything. 
What if, uh, 25, 27? Here we go. That, I, I'm so, I mean, there's, there's, what was there, a black one and a champagne one? I can't remember what the other colour was. Um, but this is, that, that, that's really nice looking. I think that's actually quite a tasty looking mod. It could quite have, eat, I mean, it, I'm not going to, I'm uh, There's part of me, part of me that wishes that this was actually stainless steel as well. I'm assuming that's the aluminium piece, this bit here, and this piece here. Um, I know it would have been heavier with stainless steel, but I think it, all stainless steel would have been awesome. Uh, tuxedo, that's the other one. Thanks, Andy. Uh, if you have any questions about this right now, um, then please ask. But I know as much as you do if you've not seen this, because obviously I've just taken it out of the box. Uh, do you find the mod clunky? No, I, I, I don't actually. It, it is. It's got a weight to it though. Now that I've got a battery and an atty on here, it's. There's no rattle. Fire button. No rattle. Um, so this is 251 grams with a 22mm Atti 18650 battery. Uh, so it's, it's, it's got a, yeah, it's got a weight to it. It's comfortable to fire. I, I have no issues with that fire button. Um, the only thing you'll have to watch, as with any side-by-side, -side, is where you're hooking your finger around that you're not blocking, blocking off airflow. Um, I mean, it's coming to life. Straight away. I mean, that's a 0 0.3 ohm fuse clapped in... 3 mil ID, and I'm only vaping it at 27 watts, and it's straight in there, and it feels like the... I vape this coil all the time at that power, so I know exactly what it should be like, and it's and it's and there's no issues with that. Um... I don't, I, I mean, I don't want to, I'm not being rude by saying this, but um, I'm not 100% sure on the the coating. What are they saying? Is it, what did they say it was? Uh, sandblasted and anodized aluminium. I, I don't think, I just, <laughs> I just rubbed my nail off that. And I don't think that's going to... If there's anybody in here that's had this for a few days and know and has had any experience on the, the coating and how it's holding up... Um, uh, I'm just I'm just jumping through questions. Uh, Shifty has had his for a few days. The only thing I could complain about is the paint scratches up quite easily. Uh, it's it's been anodized. Um, and yeah, it, there's always going to be some anal person that says it's not been painted. It's been anodized. Um, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. Um, try a mouth to lung, Mister Todd. No, it doesn't make any difference. It's it's it doesn't matter if I put a mouth to lung or a direct. It doesn't matter what atty I put on it. Um, I don't like this. I, I I personally don't like the the raised battery cap. It makes it a lot easier to get the battery cap off. I'll I'll give them that. But aesthetically, I I'm I'm not a fan. Uh, 
it looks like a sunbox mod uh, there's no two ways about it it just looks like a sunbox um it's also got a little bit of the horizon about it just that bit up there and then the rods and anyway um It's not bad. It's not bad. And I think lefty or righty, left hand or right hand, it's not going to make any difference. Um, not going to make any difference. And can I lock the fire? Holding the up and down button together flips the screen, just in case you wanted to know. Uh, can I? Right, I'm locked. Haha, -ha, that's what I wanted. Right, uh, so I've locked the push, uh, I've locked the, the buttons here, but I can still fire it, which is what you want. So it doesn't matter about them if you push them or not now, it's locked off. £45. Um, £45. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I've. Do I regret spending at this moment in time? Do I regret spending forty five pounds on this mod? No, I don't. Uh, not in the slightest. But this is not a review. This is definitely not a review. How it's going to be long term? Um, I do not know. Um, I'm not going to do a follow up video for this or anything like that. I'll probably mention it in my Facebook group or in another vlog. But this is the only video I am going to do with this. The fact that you can convert it to an 18350 as well. Um, if you didn't see it, remember you've got 30 millimeters from, you know, if you want a completely flush atty with the top, it's going to have to be about 30 mil. Um, the avatar um, fits perfectly. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, it works with only battery tube. You can take it off the stabilizer. Don't try confusing me. Uh, and uh, if it's anodized, that's very naughty from Spire. I had to go over Who knows, mate? Uh, honestly, at the end of the day, it's. I, ca I can't tell you if it's anodized or painted. I don't know. Honestly, don't know, and I mean, the thing is, anodite you normally has like almost like a, like a little powder effect, almost. It's kind of hard to tell. I really want to take it to bits now. Do you want to have a look at the board? No, I'm not. No, I'm not taking it to bits because uh, that will just go horribly wrong. Um. There's Alex. Stealth mode. Nobody wants stealth mode. Because um, then you just think you've broken it. Um, Shifty, I'll be buying another one for the price. I, I will, like I say, um, no, I mean just the battery tube installed. I've no idea what you're talking about. Um, definitely not a shit. At this moment in time, definitely not a shit. Uh, I think uh, Alex at Cheeky Vape has got them. He's doing another drop today. £45. This isn't a plug. I didn't get any discount. Yep. Alex didn't give me any discount. He didn't even upgrade my shipping. That's how much of a tosser. No, I'm only kidding. Uh, so, yeah. Go along and... If you're in the UK, that is. If you're in the UK. And that's that. The other good thing is, if it breaks, you don't have to send it back to Sunbox to get it fixed. That was really bad of me to say that. I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> um, right. Uh, John Q says, scrape, scrape the bottom of the stabilizer to check. Check what? 
what you want? I'm not scraping anything. I bought that. Um, cheeky vape, check your emails. <laughs> I'm not, I'm don't, no, don't, because I'm, I'm only joking. Um, Andy, I, I, I oh, bugging it. <sighs> Hang on. Right. Can I? Right. I think I know what was somebody was mentioning about under that. Will you buy it if you lost the mod? No, I'm not keeping it. Uh, I'm not keeping it anyway. Uh, I'll I'll put this up in the shed yard in my group. Um, because um, I'm a snob, and uh, it's as simple as that. And you know, if it's under five hundred pounds, then I'm not interested in it. That was sarcasm, by the way, just in case you don't know what sarcasm is. Uh, we're going to try something here since people are asking about the finish. Uh, yes, I'm taking it to bits again. Actually, let's just change over to this and we'll have a look. Right, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. What the hell? What's the worst that could happen here? That's actually... Do you know, that's, that's better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, that's me mildly scratching it. And... That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, if I take something a little bit sharper to it. Yeah. But then being fair, being fair, I, I would, yeah, th that would happen in any surface. It's a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's a lot better. So, yeah, I'll, 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 I'm quite surprised by that. I thought I thought it was going to start flaking off, uh, but if it's if it's only doing that, then that's not a bad thing. Um, P.S. Um, whoever buys this off me or whoever gets it from me, I'm really sorry. Um, I didn't mean to scratch it up like that, but um, don't worry, you'll you'll never see the scratches. See, because they're underneath there. Um, geek. I'm not buying it now. It's scratched. <laughs> Damn, it's hot in here all of a sudden. Um, Hopefully you can't hear that air purifier going off now. Um, right, so one last time. That was the mix by Spire and Sunbox. Not shit. Um, I'm not shit. I would definitely say it's not shit. Uh, you are getting a mod that definitely looks... I mean, I think Sunbox mods are good looking mods. Uh, I always have done. Oops, what's happened there? Um, you're getting this for forty-five pounds. Uh, you're going to get your manufacturer's warranty from Aspire if anything goes wrong with it. And you know, if you want a side by side that does eighteen three fifty as well, remember uh, it sits completely flush there, completely flush. You get the other battery tube if you don't, you know. So that's going to sit in there like that. So for the money, yes. And uh, once again, this isn't an advert and I paid for this and it's... And Alex has done me a solid in the past. So go along to Cheeky Vape if you're in the UK. And uh, I'm, if you choose the right shipping, you should get it tomorrow. Might. I don't know. 
Once again, um, it's not a 21700 and it's only 60 watts. But I don't have a beard, so I don't worry about these things. Uh, right, that is it for my first look at the mix from Aspire. Uh, I managed to unscrew things, put them back together and scratch it and I didn't hurt anybody and it's still working. Today has been a good day. Uh, it's been a good day. Um, other things. Um, I'm just going to, if all you were interested in was the Aspire Mix, that's it, done, go away now, just go away, or if you're interested in anything else that I have to say, then then now's the time, you can stay and listen. Um, as far as review gear goes, for me, um, reviews that are coming up, well, not reviews that are coming up, gear that I've got in here. Uh, I'm, I'm still vaping away with the Odin, the mini Odin. Um, so DNA 75C and a 21700 battery or a single 18650. Uh, this, that, once, this is not bad. This is, I, I have no issues with this so far. I've had it for about a week, I think. Um, they did send on the the Blotto Mini with it as well. This is shit. Um, this isn't good. Um, don't buy this. Buy the original one. The only thing about this is it's 22 mil, right, it's 22 millimeters in diameter, okay? you get a straight glass that goes on it that takes it down to two mil. The only thing is it's got the exact same deck and everything as the original. Uh, when it has the two mil glass on, it's near impossible to fill it up because the glass is so thin to the walls of the chimney. Um, and it's really annoying. And sometimes even when you manage to fill it up and you're vaping, you will get voids, air pockets, round about the wicks, holes, which is really annoying also. It does come with two uh, bubble tanks, but um, bubble tanks look hideous. I don't care what anybody says, you shouldn't be using them. They're disgusting. If they were to release the Blotto with a, a single coil deck, same configuration and everything inside, but as a single, a, a genuine single coil deck, um, then it would be okay. But as it stands right now, this one, I wouldn't spend my money on this at all. I really wouldn't. Um, I would just buy the original one. Buy the original one. Um, sorry, I'm looking. Uh, GL, now wick the har. I've already done a video for wicking the har. So you can get pumped. You wind up merchant you. Um... Boxcar Rick's been loving his Mini Odin. It's good. I think it's quite comfortable and, and the, I like the finish on it. Um, uh, Mindful Bliss, uh, off topic I know, but the Secret Labs chair worth the coin. I never paid for this. This was a present from lots of beautiful people last year for my 50th birthday. Um, it is hands down the best chair I have ever sat on. Mainly because even after a year, that is, that'll be a year now. That'll be a year, because I'm, I'm 51 in 10 days. 51! Ah! Um, really good chairs, really good chairs. Um, uh, Dennis, uh, will you be getting the, the RSS Ambition? Hera, yes I am. Um, that is coming on to me from Vapor Bay UK, uh, from Alex and Lloyd. They'll be getting it into stock, hopefully this week. They're getting it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Ambition mods, but then um, for various reasons. But uh, I will be doing a video for it to help those guys out because they're nice. Even Lloyd. 
Kind of. <laughs> Sorry, Lloyd. Um, you need bubble glass acceptance therapy. <laughs> You can't. You cannot convince me otherwise. Bubble. Listen. Maybe I think it's because it's my size now. I've noticed the the older I'm getting that I'm getting more like I'm looking more like. If I was to stand up right now, that is what I look like. I look like a bubble tank. And I think that's why I don't like them. It's just this thing. This this thing. Um. Eh, uh, Sinistral. Uh, hang on, let's... So if I say justice for TJ... <laughs> justice for TJ. Is it that time? Is it that time? Here we go. <laughs> Have to feed the dog. Um... Uh, well, I'm just reading chat here, sorry. Change coil in the foggy thing. Uh, you would not believe the gust of the coil I've squeezed in and it's wicking fine. Um, I I am... Right. The har. Thank you. Uh, to everybody that bought one. Thank you very, very much. Um... And I mean that, I really do mean that. Thank you so, so much. Uh, and thank you for all the positive feedback, be that good or bad. Um, the constructive feedback. Um, because obviously doing what I do, uh, I'm well aware that the reviews that have been up so far have been constructive. Uh, there's been, you know, it's not drama or people being arseholes or anything like that it's just being constructive feedback and be that good or bad uh, I really do appreciate it uh, and I know the guys do as well um, Van and Dell it's yeah there's certain things about the tank I understand that some people don't like which I'll not get into because I like the little clouds okay so deal with it um, but wicking, if you are having an issue with wicking, you're doing something wrong because that is one thing that this tank excels at and that's wicking. Uh, it shouldn't have any issues with wicking at all. Um, the other thing is the, um, I, I, I just, I saw a video where somebody was saying that they thought there should be an O-ring. Uh, where the deck goes into the body. Um, <laughs> I said the same thing. Uh, I had the same conversation with Van and Dell, and I said that there should be an O-ring in the base uh, for the deck. Um, and, and basically I was educated, shall I say. I was... No, actually they told me to shut up. That's pretty much what they told me. In a polite... In a... In a Croatian kind of way. Um, it, it doesn't need an O-ring in the deck. It just doesn't. Trust me on that one. Um, uh, Dennis, uh, more. You got that chair months ahead of your birthday. I'll, I'll, I will trust you. I will defer to your superior memory recall system. Uh, I think you're right, actually. Um, Horrocks, have you seen the SXK SUP box? What do you think about that idea? First off, they're camel humping, clone loving arseholes, uh, and I would never support them as a company. I think it's quite smart though. I, I do like what they've done. I'll say no more than that. Smart, isn't it? Um, right, uh, TG so, uh, blah, blah, blah. so where is your room at? Where is my room? Room? This is a shed. This is my shed. Um, in, in my back garden. 
Fife, Scotland. Um, Simon, uh, with all the horse sales, are you going to sell the pram and buy a nice car now? Leave my car out of this, you slick back. Anyway. Uh, Thrizna, is it Thrizna? Is Thrizna? Is that right? Am I saying that right? Thrizna? Um, hello. I've done my bit. I said hello. What more do you want? Um, all right, mate. Uh, right, sorry. Um, mine works amazingly, and I've been hammering the chain vape as I do anything you share. Uh, Edward, I find one of the hard, one of the easiest tanks to build on. Awesome. Uh, will you be getting the aerodynamic mod to review? Never heard of it. Uh, I do have the um, vinegar, vinegar mods. They're sending on their mouth to lung, RDA. Uh, that's coming soon. Um, uh, Mr. T, any idea of a video of the job on? There will be hand on heart, hand on heart. Look, it's right here. It's right here. Um, it's the envelope is on the shelf. Um, I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, as usual, I don't worry about embarrassing myself. I started off recording a video, and the whole premise of it was it was something like this. It was laid back and. Yeah, I got I got this um, I got this from a lovely man down under and 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 look, I'm just going to try and throw a wick and coil in it and we'll give it a bash. It all went horribly wrong, really wrong. Um, I mean, I've already had a U wick inside it, and I've had a single coil inside it, but um, as soon as I turned the camera on to record it, it just I couldn't get the hot spot out of the coil. Um, and the wire kept, you know, the battery just kept blowing the coil and the hot spot. I must have spent, and a lot of you may not know or be in care about this, but I spent must have been like 20 minutes chasing the hot spot from the top of the post right down to the bottom. And I got right down to the bottom of the coil and I was so happy, pushed the fire button again and then it just popped. So I put it back up in the shelf, but I will be doing something with it. And and thank you so so much once again. And and yes, all the food was eaten. Not by me, obviously, because I'm very slim, trim, and and so on. Uh, Shane Cheeky Vape just placed an order. Superb. Uh, I can. F <laughs> I do have to get a proper haircut. This is just, yeah. Uh, Querty, uh, there's a new yeah, but but I don't do SXK stuff, um, because they clone a lot of stuff that is manufactured by people I call friends. So I don't like them for that reason. Um, <laughs> Yes, that was a Genesis. That sorry, that this this is this is a Genesis. Uh, I'll I will do a video. I'm going to do a video. Uh, other things, right? So I showed you that. Showed you that. Showed you that. Uh, I'm late to the game on these things. Wrong one. That one, and that one. Uh, I know there's been videos out for these guys. Um, I've actually got. <coughs> I've got a rebuildable. Uh, they sent on the rebuildable head I've got, and I've also got the one ohm coil, which I think they're calling their mouth to lung coil. Um, I really like these. I mean, they're single 18650s. Uh, they are pods, uh, but once again, RBA uh, is available. Uh, is this the one I've been shaping with? Yeah, but the only thing is, it's, um, you know the dot AIO? You know how it's got like that rattlesnake noise going on? Uh, I'm not sure if you'll hear, hear this. It, it's got that pulse width modulation thing going on, I think. Um, uh, 
The only thing is, is they're, I think they're calling the one ohm coil their mouth to lung. No. Nah. It's a very loose mouth to lung. A very loose mouth to lung. Um, but, uh, so there'll be videos for them coming. Um, I've also got uh, this. Uh, I managed to pick this up for a, 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 a Billy Bargain from the wonderful Mr. Peter Edwards. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the, I've got a, we have a charity kind of group on Facebook where you can basically give away your old gear that you don't want or you no longer use and all the money goes to charity. So you don't make anything from it, just all the money goes to charity. Um, and this is from Mr. Moxon, Mr. SVB Mods, who has been going since the dawn of time. Um, I really like that. I think this is an early one uh, because it's got a, an, I think, is it the Reveal uh, 510, which is it's a V1. His later one is the V2. But um, this is a really nice little squonker. It, I'm, I've said before, it, it's just a metal box. But Nigel puts a lot, a lot of time and effort into his paint finishes. Um, and the tolerances on this door are bang on. And the firing button's really, really good. Uh, so I picked this. I didn't pick it up to review as such. I wanted to try one and vape with it for a wee while. And it's a really, really nice... Go on, if you don't know Nigel S SVB mods, um, or is he SVB Seracote now? I think he might be called. Yeah, go and check him out. Been going for years. He's actually a, a really small, strange man that likes lots of pepper on his food. Um, actually, if don't approach him unless he's eaten. He's very grumpy sometimes. <laughs> uh, other things. Uh, I do have this. I don't know if... Sorry, the... This is from... There will be a review for this coming up. This is from Method Mods out of Spain. This is a 21700 mechanical mod. Now, that, that's deep engraving all the way around. Totally... You get a look at that. It's actually quite smart, this. Uh, I have been using it. I had a little issue with it. Uh, so I'm waiting on... Uh, where's it gone? I've lost the top cap. Oh, well. Uh, it does come with a, a metal top cap, um, but that matches the rest of the body. So I'm just waiting on an updated part to arrive, and then I'll be doing a review for that. Um, I also have in my possession which I've been puffing away with, is um, this. This is the, the Alien. Sorry, I realise it's covered in liquid, but that's just because I just pulled it out of the tank. I uh, pulled it out of the my billet box. So this is another borrow device, uh, borrow tank device from EVIL or EVL. Uh, that, this will be coming out soon. Uh, once again, you can pull that, you can pull, actually, do I want you to see my coil and my deck? Uh, maybe not. Hang on. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yes. So that's this kind of setup you've got. Uh, there's going to be a couple of revisions to this one that I've got here just now. So, um, yes, that's from... EVL. I think it's going to be about £120. Um, right, sorry, just check chat. Uh, Shane's getting his heart um, the next week in Australia. Let us know how you get on with it, mate. Um, Edward, uh, the origin is very good, in my opinion. The, the, yes, I'm enjoying the... I found the coils with the first half tank. Tank were very um, metallic -y. Um, yeah, the, the, the flavour was... I really didn't enjoy the flavour in the first tank. But then it kicked in. Um, 
Uh, L. James, uh, you and your dog are very friendly, unlike the French reviewer. I don't, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Uh, what's the difference between the reload mouth to lung and the Pioneer RTA? What do you choose? Not a clue. Watch the reviews. Sorry, uh, I'm not one of these friendly reviewers that will tell you what you should buy, what's the best, and if I had to pick between an apple or an orange, what would it be? Um, all I can say to you is, if I have reviewed it, go and watch the review. If I haven't reviewed it, I can't tell you what it's like. Uh, I'm really... Yeah, sorry. I used to be actually a lot nicer when I was younger. Uh, but the older I get, the just the grumpier I get. Um, Simon Trespass, it looks like a cigar. It does kind of, doesn't it? Uh, Scarab. I have no idea what Scarab is. Sorry, I must, must have missed some chat. Um, Edward, are there any plans to bring more Regency juices to the UK? Um, possibly. Possibly. There's Because there's... Um, sorry, I had e-liquid on my eye, my fingers, and I touched my eye, and now it's stinging. Um... Yeah, there's, there's so many Regency juices that are available in Australia, but we've only brought a tiny handful over to the UK. Um, I would like to be very selfish and just make them all flavours that I really like, but that would be selfish. Well, I'll, I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see. Watch this space is about all I can say. Sorry, I'm just moving my carpet. Um... Boxcar Rick says his heart should be arriving on Wednesday. Uh, good stuff, Kevin. Afternoon to the Chuchter over in Fife. Aloha. Um, what's your most prized mod in your collection? I have so many. Um, that's all. I mean, I, could, I couldn't tell you. I, 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 I vape, my, my mods get used, I rotate them, um, and nearly all the mods, a lot of you have heard me saying this before, uh, all the mods that I keep um, are from mod makers that I've met, spoken with, uh, and that, that's kind of why I keep them. Uh, not necessarily because they're the best mod or anything like that, uh, but because I like the people that make them. That's it. Um, other stuff, I keep it because it works well. Um, what's that behind you, the black and red thingy? Uh, the black and red thingy is what the Origins came in. That's what they came in. Um, so I have no space on my shelf to put them up there, that's why. Uh, is there anything else that I have forgotten here? I don't think so. I need to vape. Uh, Mohammed, I'm interested to Har, but why is Har so complicated and have so many parts? I'm afraid I can't build it. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Just don't. Um, that would be my advice to you. Don't buy it. If, if you're worried about uh, how many parts there are, how hard is it to build and so on and so forth. If you're worried about those things, then I would say to you, don't buy it. Stick with what you've got. Um, I don't want your money. We don't want your money if it's just going to be something you can't work with or don't enjoy. Um, I will say, on the other hand, though, it is... It's designed... F it's a tank. I really like, for obvious reasons, because it is it's one of the easiest RTAs to wick and put a coil in. It's, it's dumb easy. It really is. Um, I mean, all you do is put your coil in and open and close your just flow control. What's that? I'm not going to try and convince you into buying one. It's either for you or it isn't. Um, Got, there's other people doing reviews. Go and watch their reviews and see what they're saying about it and then decide whether or not you want to buy it. But I would, yeah. 
Um, uh, Rebuild Orion, only hars out now are from pre-order, right? Wrong. Wrong. Uh, the hars are available to buy in many places. Um, I think the only place where they haven't landed yet is maybe the States. I know Vaping Art uh, bought a few, but I don't think they've actually landed as yet. But they've been available to buy from shops here this week, most of this week. Um, I don't want... Uh, Oh, the Galileo by Yasu. Oh, Charlie, you're old school. Uh, you, um, yes, for me, for many years, um, the Galileo was my favourite mod. That's going back in time. That's really going back in time, Charlie. Um, <laughs> did I ever tell? <laughs> I owned a few. I owned a few. I was a bit naive back in the day. We're only talking eight years ago, but um, <laughs> remember, those of you that had aluminium mods would know that. Then, um, actually, remember this stuff. A lot of you will remember this stuff. No locks. Um, you really wanted to have that. Oh, why is that? Do da do da going crazy here. Um, you wanted to have no locks, especially if you had an aluminium mod. Um, but before I started using no locks, I always remember my Galileo, and it just seized solid. I mean, it was a telescopic mod, so I got a set of mole grips out, and I was holding the mole grips with a, a rag round the tube, and I was like, that was no problem. It was starting to come. And then I clamped the mole grips down, so I got a tighter grip. And it just, the tube was like that, and it just went <laughs> like that. So yes, I've bought a few, I've bought a few. Um, they were battery crushers, but they weren't great, yeah. Uh, do you like the look of the bullocks, the bullocks uh, for dot mod? Have I seen that? Who makes that? Um, um, this, this, oh, sorry. That is actually, uh, that's the Dwarf Direct Lung Drip Tip. Um, in fact, I like them so much that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight of them. That's how much I like that drip tip. Um, and thank you, Dennis. Um, I, I use CPU silver, same as electrical. Down, yeah. Um, Muhammad, uh, thanks, Todd, for the advice. Now I'm curious, what kind of music you listen to while coiling or wicking? What kind of music do I listen to? Nothing you would like. Nothing you would like. Um, yeah, yeah. An, an eclectic, oh my god, I've forgotten the word, eclectic? Yeah, I listen to a lot of different music. Um, uh, Shifty expecting Mr. Hayes to do a hatchet job on it. You should have sent him one with haggis crumbs in it. We never sent any out. We never sent one single har out for a reviewer. Um they would have to have bought them themselves. Um, do you know, I'll, I'll be I'll be completely up front with you. We are in the Facebook group for the Har MT Essentials. I'm posting, every time I find a review, I'm posting it. It doesn't matter if the person that likes it or doesn't like it, the review will still get posted. And it doesn't matter what any reviewer says about it, I'll still post the review in the group because it's just an opinion at the end of the day. I don't care if there's any, I don't care if there's drama or not. 
I'll still share the review. Um, uh, oh, uh, Edward, uh, the the billocks. Uh, that's um, SVT and C and C CNC, CNC mods. Um, yes, they offered it to me to review. Um, I turned it down because it would mean that I would have to go and buy another .eio and I've already had three of them uh, and I don't want to go and buy another one um, I don't keep my .eios because um, that is my daily uh, my Delro I've got my two Delros and a billet box I don't need any other devices um, so that that that's why I turned it down. Um, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm just reading my text messages. Um, and it's Indonesia. Hello, Indonesia. Uh, it's fifteen fourteen here. Um, what's the vinyl for today? I have to apologise. The vinyl has not been changed for a few weeks. Uh, I'm still in Pink Floyd. Um, I'll have to change it. I, I need to change it. I've been listening to this uh, for too long. Such a good album, though. Wish you were here. Uh, but stop it. Um, and that's it. I've I've shown you everything that I have here. I think I've told you about everything that's coming in. Um, once again. You're going to be able to buy this from anywhere. Um, my impression, first impressions, because not a review, it's not shit. It's not. Uh, 60 watts, 18650, 18350. Um, the finishing on it is, well, we scratched it up. Um, uh, yeah, £45. If you're in the UK, check out Cheeky Vape. They've got a drop today that you can pick it up. There's three different colors. This was not an advert at all. I paid for this myself. Uh, and that is it. Thank you very, very much. If you hung around that long and I've been talking for a full bizardo in nine minutes, which is quite embarrassing. Um, even my dog's going, I think my dog's my dog dead. No, he's still still alive. I better take him out. He's been listening to me whittering on for far too long. Um, listen, I'll I'm just going to tidy my day. If you have any questions, ask now before I bugger off. Um, Edward, I saw I saw the the Pink Floyd doors. Um, but obviously I don't have a dot .eio yes uh, uh, Charlie the first screen on bottom is something yep that's a good one from Pink Floyd listen to Alpha Blondie live some guy plays the bagpipes no bagpipes no no just no um, I'm sorry uh, but um, as much as I like the odd bit of whiskey the bottle of whiskey here um, uh, bagpipes is where I draw the line. If anybody tells you bagpipes are enjoyable, they're deaf. It's that simple. Um, I uh, box car wreck. I was going to get a mix, but the one vid they put sounded real cheap when putting the battery cap on. Uh, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean by that, but. It's £45. Um, I don't... Nah. I know what you mean by cheap threads and cheap battery caps. I know exactly what you mean by that, but... I would actually disagree with that. Once you've screwed the battery cap down, it doesn't rattle. It's got chunky threads on it. That wouldn't bother me in the slightest. 
It really would not bother me. Uh, uh, Leviathan Vapor, would you consider coming on the Scottish Vape Show? You don't want me in your vape show, mate. I am the most boring person you could ever have in a vape show. Honestly, you don't want me on your vape show. Uh, nobody watches my videos and nobody would watch your video with me being on it. <sighs> sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Just, um, uh, fits a 24mm, right? Uh, no, no, that's right. It'll take a 24, but uh, depending on the tank, I mean, like I got uh, that on, which is technically a 25 mil tank, uh, the scrape, and that went on. Um, so I think if you're just under the 25 mil, you'll probably get on. Um, are there any AIO RBAs that you would swear by? AIO RBAs? No. Do you know? Not really. No. Because um, the decks are so bloody tiny. Uh, I don't... Yeah. I, d I don't have anything that springs to mind that I would go, Oh my God, that's brilliant. Not AIO. Uh, or, you know, when we're talking about these kind of, you know, things. Um, nothing that springs to mind anyway, buddy. Nothing that springs to mind anyway. Um, Boxcar Rick, you think it's worth a go? Uh, listen, uh, the short and sweet version. If, I, if, if you like the look of that... My first impression is that I think it is well worth the money. There you go. Um, uh, Rebuild the Ryan, uh, how many hars will be made? Uh, there are, we did an initial run of a thousand and we will be making more. Um, Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Here are other things you can try. Okay, Google, be quiet. Um, where do you find a Delro? Um, I send nude pictures to Justin, um, so I now have two. That's all there is to it. Um, yeah, send nudes to Justin, and, and you'll be fine. Um, it's a plastic tank. It's a plastic tank. It's a plastic tank. What's a plastic tank? Um, Edward, the, the best AIO RBA I've used is the dot shell. Um, uh, all right, so are you talking about? Are you classing? Uh, see if you're classing the dot shell as an RBA. Uh, then that opens up things like the vape snail and and so on for the billet box and. Uh, yeah, that's just a, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, mix got 1,200. Yeah, that's because of quality control. Uh, obviously, we get X amount manufactured and they get quality control and some of them end up in the bin. So that's how you have 1,200. Um, right, uh, John Q, I never said of myself he may think it's me. I've never said they're of me. <laughs> uh, what's the best custard? <laughs> the best custard is one you cannot buy. Um, Right, that's enough of this. Uh, guys, uh, thank you very much for keeping me company on uh, a Monday afternoon, uh, but we shall catch up with you uh, very, very soon. Um, yes. Bye for now. I think I pushed this button. Are you sure you want to end your stream? Yes.